What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report without you guys, as well as you ladies. You know that this literally does not work. Let me apologize in advance because I'm feeling kind of raw today. I am tired. And when you're tired, you get a little bit grumpy. Because I am tired of bullshit ass excuses. I am tired of believing in the team. I am tired of selling and shoveling the shit for the Cowboys trying to make the shit shine that when we, you know, bring in somebody like Don Terry Poe, we try and sell this to the fans. Why this is a good move that the Cowboys, they're finally getting a one technique guy. Don Terry Poe, he's done some good things to only have a guy come in and basically be on his fat ass and do not a damn thing, not bust a grape. I'm tired of taking bullets for the Cowboys. Because as Joe the fan here, that I get you guys who come in and troll me, that literally see and make fun and make memes of me falling out because I'm in disbelief because I was so stupid to kind of believe like Charlie Brown every year. Every year that we think we're going to kick the football right there in the Super Bowl. And here it is. Jerry Jones, just like Lucy, pulls the football out. I'm tired of seeing guys that we have that are supposed to be our star players, our core players, like CeeDee Lamb when four playoff games get one TD pass catch. It's tired of seeing guys like Micah Parsons in four playoff games get one sack. Tired of seeing guys like D-Law that have been in like seven playoff games and getting like two. I'm tired of us constantly losing before we should. And I'm tired of hearing stupid ass excuses. I'm tired. In fact, I'll add to being tired. I'm old and sick and tired of the bullshit. D-Law... You are one of a few people on this planet that can make so much money doing something that we all love to do. You have 17 regular season games that are an hour long. That's your job, that you get paid a hell of a lot of money. I dare say one of the prerequisites of that job should be not being tired. You know, opportunities don't last and don't come around too often because you have a chance to be legendary, to be part of the biggest franchise in the world and have immortality all you have to do is go take it the problem is is it ain't gonna be handed to you now let me say shout out to wade walker wade who shared with me the clip of from law nation where D Law said that, you know, we were tired. It was a long season and things. You know what it reminded me of when I, when I heard that? When my niece and nephew, when they were really young and they would come over and I would cook, I'm spicy. I like food spicy. And my niece, she was used to more bland. And she'd say, it's too spicy. It's too spicy. And, and have a fit because she was a little girl. And when you say, I'm tired, it reminds me of that. You're tired? You're tired. We're tired. So Wade, when he first sent this to me yesterday, 
He was pissed. He was in his feelings. And he's like, we can't win with these players. We need to get rid of all of them. Today, I sent him a copy of what happened in 2020 where D-Law said, we're soft. I'll call it soft. I'll play it here in a minute. And his question was, is it the players? Is it the coaching? Is it the ownership? And here's what I will say, Wade. I think you are a product of your environment. It's like when a child is born, a child doesn't have any preconceived notions or anything else. That child is like a sponge and they soak up what's in their environment around them. Like they say, when in Rome, do as the Romans. And so when you think about the Cowboys, you know, with this incredible stadium that everybody's in awe of, you think about the world-class training center where, you know, Jerry Jones is charging like $40 for people to be able to go through and, and see the trophies and the rings and everything else, to see the, the, the sizzle, so to speak, kind of like a carnival attraction. You see the big signs outside of the carnival and stuff, the bearded lady and, and the snake eater and all that kind of stuff. You know, ooh, your eyes get big. The lights and things of Vegas. And then when you get inside, it's like, okay. But all of these things, you're like the rich kids. Because when you say you're tired, it's been a long season. The Green Bay Packers, they weren't tired. See, they were like the poor kids that are jealous of all the stuff that you have. Because, see, all you guys, you got the big contracts. And this goes back to what I remember Doc Walker saying. It's hard to be hungry when your refrigerator's full. And there's no truer statement than that. You're not hungry if you got a full refrigerator. And you guys aren't hungry. You're just waiting for somebody. It's nap time. Here's your playoff win. This is crazy. And the sad thing is, is this shit ain't new. Let me go back a few years. All right, we have Demarcus Lawrence. Go ahead. Marcus, how, how would you address the, the defensive struggles you had as a, as a unit today on that side of the ball? Uh, in my own words, I'll call it soft. Um, we got to hold ourselves to a higher standard. Um, we got to play together as one, um, and I don't feel like um, we're holding ourselves accountable, including myself. So uh, I call the shit soft, and we'll get better from it. Marcus, how surprising is it to see what happened today? Say it again. How surprising is it to see this uh, today? You know they're going to run the ball and they're able to go for 307 yards. Yeah, uh, it's not no surprise. Uh, I mean, we just got to do a better job of compare, I mean, um, preparing and, you know, really come with our full hearts in the game and play this game for 60 minutes straight. Uh, it's just all about bowing down and really showing – you know, that you're a real man out there and uh, playing together. DeMarcus, do you think your scheme is sound enough to try and stop offenses moving forward? It's not my job to think about uh, what's right or what's wrong. It's all My job is to go out there and try to make as many plays to help my team win the game. Um, and I don't feel like I'm doing that right now, and I'll get back to it. Uh, like I said, uh, I mean, we came out the gate soft, uh, you know, and in different words, I can call it something else, but uh, it's just all about having some grit and you know, playing balls to the wall and going out there and giving it everything you got. You cut it in and out. You said about fixing it, something. In recent weeks, the passing game has challenged y'all primarily, but today the running game was a big problem. What do you attribute that to and what do you see to fix it now? Uh, I mean, just growing up and playing like real men out there um, and not like kids, 
uh, we got to attack people before uh, they try to attack us. And I feel like we're doing a lot of catching and we're going to get better from it. Up there, with, especially up on the front. Right. Why aren't you guys attacking? Why, why is it more sitting back, to, like you kind of said? Uh, like I said earlier, it's not uh, my job to, you know, worry about scheming or worrying about what the next man doing. I already got a hard enough job myself. But like I said, uh, it's all about just attacking, and I don't feel like we're doing that at all as a unit. Knowing the, knowing the nucleus of his team, is it, is it a little bit surprising you found yourself in this spot right now? Uh, I wouldn't say it's surprising. Uh, if you think you're going to sit here and get a whole new coaching staff, staff and, you know, win every game and shoot for the stars, uh, you got a big surprise coming. And, you know, that was our surprise. Even we got so much talent, but, uh, you know, without that grit, without that toughness, uh, talent don't mean nothing in the NFL. So it's all about us coming together, figuring it out, and um, getting better from it. I appreciate y'all time today. Thank you. Yeah, that grit and the desire. I hope Mike Zimmer. I hope Mike Zimmer brings it in here because this is Camp Cupcake. And I don't blame necessarily the players because they're allowed to get away with it. They're allowed to get away with it because Jerry Jones runs the system right there. All he cares about is that you got your shows, you got your endorsements, you're selling jerseys. It's all sizzle to sell the freaking carnival. There's no substance there. He's a snake oil salesman. And we keep buying that shit. I'm tired of it, good people. I am tired of it. And I know you are too. And I hope they're listening to us. Because like Philly 500 said, they shit on us. Disrespected yet? Does this defense have any heart? No. No. They suck. Versatile. I've been telling you all season, Philly. They've shit on you. Oh. They've shit on you. <laughs> Don't you hear me, Jordan? Uh. Taylor Carter, Slight. They shit on you. Oh. They've shit on you. 